John, how much can last Friday's win down at Bristol give Gloucester a real boost going into this cup quarter final? Yeah, I think it was just important. You know, after like two weeks off, that boys will be able to get game time, um, sort of get back into the groove of things, play our structure, and it was nice to get uh, a good win down there. So, you know, it's a, a local derby game. It could have been a game we slipped up on, but we've done the job, and then we're just building for far Saturday night. And thinking back to the last time Gloucester had had a week off in the build-up to a game, hadn't gone to plan. How important was it that you did come out all guns blazing? Yeah, I think we just sort of addressed that last time. We didn't play so well against Leicester, but. Um, we sort of changed our routine a little bit during the, the last second week off. Um, got a bit more training and got a bit more rugby volume and just so we were ready to knuckle down and didn't have to do too much on that first week back. And where does this game stand in the season? Because it could be Gloucester's biggest game of the season or you know it could be something of a distraction now because obviously the most direct route into the Champions Cup next season is to finish top six. Yeah, I just think it's another game for us. You know, we're not worried about if it's a cup game or if it's a top six game or whatever it is. It's just a game for us to perform. I think that's been something we will work towards and has uh, done well for us. So, you know, we're just looking to put a good performance in, go up there, home game for us, play well, play our structures and um, get the job done. It is slightly different opponents, so you won't be familiar to a lot of people, but presumably your knowledge of... Uh, the Pro 12 will mean that actually Cardiff not too much of an unknown for you. Yeah, you know, playing them in the Pro 12 would uh, have good experience against them. Obviously, they've got a few older heads up front, you know, that restore their Jenkins Matthew back from injury. A um, couple of foreigners that, you know, play from back home, but, you know, they're a Matthew team, similar to us. Matthew lower down the table than they want. You know, they've got the ability, got the players, but Matthew having a function as well. So, you know, they'll be coming here high hopes, looking to grab a scalp away from home because. You know, we struggled maybe that game against the Dragons and, you know, the game last 20 minutes against Quinn. So well, we can't get bogged down by that, can't get distracted by that. We've got one game and we're just building for that. Yeah, you mentioned the Dragons game last year. I mentioned that to David. He said, well, there's so much that's happened recently. You're sort of, that's almost baggage we've got to, to drop. I mean, there's, there could be so much baggage that Gloucester could bring into any game. It's sort of, well, which baggage to choose? It's almost just ditching a lot of it and, and just playing the game. Yeah, I think we've been well. You know, we don't dwell too much on it. We find out what we need to fix, things that we need to improve on. At times it can be a long list, um, but you know we picked the Matthew two or three. That's the most important for that weekend. We just train off that and look to make that be our real target for the weekend. And with changes in how the coaching operation is working at the moment, has that just sort of refreshed things a little bit? And you, know, you hear a different voice a little bit more, maybe. Yeah, you know, the coaches pick the team. It's up to the players just to train hard during the week and put their hand up. So we have no involvement in that. But, um, you know, it's good for team morale. Other boys getting uh, a run, sort of players leading training. Um, and then obviously with the, the good weather, you know, we'll make the feel that's going to suit our game a bit better. But, you know, it can't go away from the crucial foundations of a game, which is maybe going to be a set piece and our, and our D. Yeah, and I suppose it's about performing well enough in that to get the results and I suppose if you can get another win this weekend that just gives you a little bit of momentum doesn't it? Yeah you know you know when you're winning it's all you know it's all good vibes in the team you know everyone's happy on Monday but the key for us is if we win or lose that we don't um, let our emotions go too high after win too low after loss you know we've got to be pretty steady and I think we've done that on Monday we came in pretty level-headed we knew what we'd done, but we knew we had another challenge this week, which, you know, like you said, we don't play them regularly. A few guys will be unknown, and we can't get caught out early on. And if you are up against Gethin Jenkins, what's he like as a direct opponent? Yeah, you know, he's coming back from injury. He got some minutes in the weekend, but, you know, he's a he's got the quality there. You know, he don't play 100 caps for nothing. So I think, you know, they'll be coming here. I think they'll play well. So, you know, the responsibility is for us to make sure we match that and play better.